If you suddenly drop weight without trying, feel your heart racing like a marathon runner, start sweating more than usual, or notice a weird bulge at the bottom of your neck, it's time to ring up your doctor and schedule a chat. It could be hypothyroidism. And after they figure out, it's hypothyroidism. Expect some regular catch-ups with your doc to keep tabs on how things are going. The good news is that you are not alone. Hypothyroidism affects about 1.2% of the US population. And as per popular request, we have created this video specially for you. So today, we're diving into five fantastic vitamins and minerals that can be a game changer in getting your thyroid back in shape. So let's jump right in, shall we? Before we dive in, let's learn a bit about hypothyroidism. All right, let's talk hypothyroidism, the turbo modes for your thyroid. Imagine hitting the gas pedal on your body's metabolism going full speed ahead. That can lead to weight loss, shaky hands and a heart that just won't sit still. So if you've got an overactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, there are a few ways to deal with it. You can take anti-thyroid meds or have radio iodine treatment to calm down your thyroid and ease hormone production. In some situations, surgery might be on the table to remove a chunk or the whole thyroid gland. And hey, sometimes your hypothyroidism might actually get better on its own, especially if there's a temporary cause. So what are the symptoms you need to watch out for? Hypothyroidism can be a tricky customer often masquerading as other health issues, making it a tough nut to crack for diagnosis. Some signs to watch out for are unintentional weight loss, a speedy and irregular heartbeat, increased appetite, anxiety, shaky hands, excessive sweating, and changes in menstrual cycles. You might also notice a swollen neck or goiter, trouble sleeping, muscle weakness, or fatigue. Now, for the plot twist. This hypothyroid gig is even more sly with older adults, masking itself in irregular heartbeats, sneaky weight loss, and a subtle veil of fatigue during everyday activities. Tricky, right? Keep your radar on for those signs. Let's find out what causes hypothyroidism. So, you've got this nifty little butterfly-shaped gland in your neck called the thyroid. It's like the boss of metabolism, controlling how your body uses fats and carbs and even influencing your heart rate. How cool is that? Now this thyroid buddy produces two hormones, thyroxine or T4 and triiodothyronine or T3. These hormones are like metabolism maestros, playing a role in almost every cell in your body. They're like the conductors of the metabolic orchestra. But sometimes things go a bit haywire and the thyroid decides to throw a party releasing way too much of these hormones into the bloodstream. That's what we call hypothyroidism. It's like the thyroid's version of going into overdrive. What causes this thyroid rave, you ask? Well, there are a few troublemakers. Graves' disease, which is like the leader of the hypothyroidism gang, is an autoimmune disorder that makes the immune system attack the thyroid, resulting in an overproduction of hormones. Then there's the troublemaker called overactive thyroid nodules, where a lump in the thyroid goes rogue and produces more hormone than it's supposed to. Lastly, there's thyroiditis, which is like the thyroid getting a bit angry and inflamed, causing it to spill out extra hormones. So your thyroid's this tiny powerhouse with a big impact, and sometimes it just wants to party a little too hard. Here is the list of vitamins you need to know about. Number one, vitamin D. This amazing vitamin, Let's call it the sunshine vitamin. Is amazing because your body can whip it up on its own without breaking the bank at the grocery store. Now this vitamin is a superstar for your organs. It's the wake up call for the essential parts of your body. And guess what? It's a superhero when it comes to dealing with hypothyroidism. Duddies are all a buzz, pointing fingers at vitamin D deficiency for causing thyroid troubles and even some cancers. Not cool, right? Especially for our friends with hyperthyroidism, vitamin D is like a trusty sidekick fighting alongside you. It's been linked to autoimmune thyroid issues like Graves' disease, which basically adds fuel to the hyperthyroidism fire. So to get your dose of this wonder vitamin, dig into foods like eggs, cheese, yolks and fatty fish. But hey, if you're more of a Netflix and chill kind of person, no worries. 
Just soak up some rays from good old Mr. Sun. How about planning a beach trip this weekend? Double win, vitamin D, and some beachy vibes. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Number two, vitamin B12. Let's talk about vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin. It's a superstar in the realm of thyroid health. When you're running low on cobalamin, your thyroid might not be the happiest camper, potentially leading to thyroid troubles. There's this cool research in the Journal of Family and Community Medicine that spills the beans about how vitamin B12 levels can do a little dance with your thyroid hormones. When B12 levels swing, your thyroid hormones might follow suit, getting a bit out of balance. Now, here's the kicker. While munching on B12-rich foods or taking supplements won't magically fix an overactive thyroid, it can definitely take the edge off those pesky hypothyroidism symptoms. It gives you a little comfort amidst the thyroid storm. To pump up your B12 levels, dive into foods like eggs, salmon, beef and chicken. And for our veggie-loving friends, spinach, carrots, chickpeas and sweet potatoes are your go-to pals. Keep that B12 train rolling for a happy thyroid. Number three, vitamin B2. Ever heard of riboflavin? It's like the fancy name for vitamin B2 and it's a real player in the thyroid game. Alongside folate and its B vitamin buddies, riboflavin's a main character for your thyroid, keeping it on its toes and doing its thing. Picture this. If you're running low on riboflavin, it's like a signal to your thyroid saying, hey, we need a tune-up. Yep, a riboflavin shortage could mean your thyroid isn't as happy and efficient as it could be. But hey, no worries. To bring up your riboflavin levels, dig into some yogurt, cheese, eggs, salmon, and almonds. They're like the riboflavin-rich squad here to keep your thyroid in tip-top shape. Number four, vitamin C. Vitamin C can be a great ally for hyperthyroidism because it helps slow down the hypermetabolism that comes with an overactive thyroid. Pretty cool, right? There's a study on PubMed suggesting that a lack of vitamin C can play a big role in hyperthyroidism and Graves disease. So making sure you've got enough vitamin C in your system, whether from your diet or supplements, can really make a difference and help improve your condition. You can get your vitamin C fix by enjoying bell peppers, tomatoes, strawberries, leafy greens, and citrus fruits. Get munching, and here's to a happy, healthy thyroid. Number five, vitamin E. Meet vitamin E, your trusty sidekick in the battle against hyperthyroidism. It's your friend who reminds your thyroid to slow down and fights off the evil inflammation causing free radicals. Picture this, vitamin E is like your shield, helping to ease the symptoms of hyperthyroidism and keeping Graves' disease in check by putting the brakes on your thyroid glands over excitement. So to invite this vitamin E pail into your life Grab some avocado, spinach, hazelnuts, kiwi, broccoli, and a bunch of seeds and nuts. They're like the welcoming committee for vitamin E, ready to assist in calming your hypothyroidism down. Now onto the list of minerals. Number six, selenium. Meet superstar selenium. It's the VIP of the thyroid health dream team because it helps out with hormone regulation and fights off those pesky free radicals that show up when your thyroid is doing its thing. A study showed that if your selenium intake is low, you might have a higher chance of dealing with hypothyroidism and Graves' disease. But fear not. Selenium along with its buddy, vitamin D is here to rescue your thyroid and keep it in good spirits. Now, where do we find this selenium magic and how much do we need? Well, we did some digging and it turns out brown rice eggs, beef, turkey, and spinach are the selenium superheroes. And if you're into supplements, popping two 200 micrograms of selenium in the morning might be just enough. But a quick heads up, always have a chat with your doc before diving in. Safety first. Number seven, low dose iodine. Iodine is your best buddy when it comes to hypothyroidism. It helps whip up the thyroid hormone thyroxine, which is pretty darn important. For folks dealing with hypothyroidism, 
A small dose of iodine can be a game changer. In fact, a study with 156 hypothyroidism patients showed that a tiny iodine dose put 56.5% of them in remission. Impressive, right? But here's the plot twist. Too much iodine can be a villain in this story and worsen hypothyroidism. So if you're thinking of iodine supplements, have a chat with your friendly neighborhood doctor first. Number eight, magnesium. This mineral is like a superhero for a healthy thyroid. It helps keep thyroxine levels in check. But here's the twist. When your thyroid is too active like it is in hyperthyroidism, your kidneys start getting rid of magnesium faster. That's why people with hyperthyroidism can end up low on magnesium. So how do you keep your magnesium levels up? Munch on foods like beans, nut seeds, leafy greens, and your favorite fortified breakfast cereals. They'll give you the magnesium boost you need. Number nine, zinc. Let's talk about zinc, the thyroid's buddy. Zinc is like the wizard behind the scenes, helping make thyroid hormones and keeping things balanced. It's especially cool because it acts like a shield, defending your body and preventing autoimmune disorders like Graves' disease from going into overdrive and causing hypothyroidism. To keep your thyroid happy, munch on foods loaded with zinc. Think red meat, dairy, crabs, nuts, lobsters, and beans. They're the magical potion for your thyroid's well-being. Number 10, iron. Iron is a mighty mineral. It's the king of all minerals because it does so much for your body. But here's the deal. If you don't get enough iron, it can mess with your thyroid. When your thyroid goes into overdrive, it can lower your iron and vitamin B12 levels. Not cool, right? But here's some good news. A study with hypothyroid rats found that taking iron pills can help fix that damage. Now, if you're a fan of dark chocolate, here's another reason to indulge. It's got iron. Plus, you can get iron from foods like spinach, lentils, pumpkin seeds, leafy greens, and dried fruits. So go ahead and enjoy these iron-rich goodies. Be careful if you have hypothyroidism. Let's break down the potential issues that can come with hypothyroidism. Heart problems. Hypothyroidism can mess with your heart, causing funky rhythms like atrial fibrillation and even making it struggle to pump enough blood. We call that congestive heart failure. Weak bones. It can also lead to brittle bone syndrome, also known as osteoporosis. Too much thyroid action makes it tricky for your bones to soak up calcium, which they need to stay strong. Poor eyesight. Sometimes hyperthyroidism gives your eyes a hard time. Picture this, bulging eyes, a gritty feeling, or even double vision, not fun. Skin problems. In rare cases, your skin might decide to change color or swell up, especially around your shins and feet. It's a condition called Graves' dermopathy. The thyrotoxic trouble. And then there's the real scary stuff, like thyrotoxic crisis, aka thyroid storm. This one's serious, fever, rapid heartbeat, nausea, the whole shebang. You need urgent medical attention if this hits. So hypothyroidism isn't just about feeling a bit off. It can mess with some vital parts of your body. Be careful and take good care of your thyroid. Living with hypothyroidism is like dealing with a bunch of unwelcome guests. Strokes, heart issues, the flu, and pesky eye trouble. But hey, the good news is that you can show them the door by inviting the right nutrients into your diet. Let's make a pact to embrace a healthier lifestyle. Dive into more of our awesome and educational content. For instance, you can learn how to say goodbye to flabby arms with six easy workouts, or why you need to unplug and recharge your mind with a digital detox. By the way, have you experienced hypothyroidism before? How did you tackle it? Did your doc tell you about these vitamins and minerals? Share your story down below. We're all ears.